It's important to understand that children do grieve too, just as adults, but it's more difficult for a child to verbally express that. It might be that they don't have the same vocabulary as us, and it might be that they're also trying to protect their own parents and family by, by not asking questions that might be difficult. The idea behind the memory boxes formed part of my own journey as a child bereaved and as an adult uh, going through ongoing grief processes. I began to be aware that at Cynthia Spencer Hospice we didn't have resources to help uh, adults and uh, talking to the children of when someone significant in their life was seriously ill and dying. Some of the worries that a parent might have around their children, for both the present and the future, is the fact that they're not going to be here. There's going to be real milestones that they're going to miss out on, whether that be first day at school if we're dealing with really young children, through to proms, graduations, weddings. It can become a real, real troublesome time for some people. The idea of the memory box is to help gather memories to begin to consider what is special to that child to keep for their future. We also spend some time with families here and now in the present about what is important to their child. So it's a way of recording significant occasions, holding on to something that makes you think of that person. It might be a pair of glasses, it could be a t-shirt, it could be an occasion that they spent together, so a, f a flower from that occasion. So the idea is to use contents to record those special occasions or special memories that we hold dear when someone has died. So it can help prepare them for the death of somebody. And the, by the same token, after someone has died, the child can keep revisiting them, add more things into them. They own the box, it's their box, so they personalise it in the way that they would want to personalise it about their special person. In using these boxes, we have been able to support families through really difficult times in their journey. And these boxes have been able to give them some comfort at extremely difficult times. And specific thank you to the Leon Barwell Foundation for their support and sponsorship of the memory boxes. On behalf of Cynthia Spencer Hospice and on behalf of myself, thank you so much for enabling us to give these to our patients and families. In Northamptonshire, in the last eight years, we have given out over 800 memory boxes and other resources, including teddy bears and quilts. It is an emotive subject. And it can be hard to have these conversations, especially for adults and children together. Professionals are telling me that they're enabling families to have conversations they didn't know how to start. It can only be a good thing.